Hey guys welcome to another video. Blessings here today. Due to the coronavirus disease 2019, or COVID-19 pandemic, President Rodrigo issued Proclamation Order No. 922, declaring a state of public health emergency throughout the Philippines and thereafter. Proclamation Order No. 929 was issued, placing the entire country in a state of calamity. Pursuant to Department of Health or DOH and Administrative Order 2020-0015, otherwise known as the Guidelines on the Risk-Based Public Health Standards for COVID-19 Mitigation and Adopting the Professional Board of Medicine, Resolution No. 17 and 21. The Commission prescribes the following strict health protocols, in addition to PRC Memorandum No. 24 and 28, particularly in the conduct of all licensure examinations during the pandemic. The Board, upon approval of the Commission, reserves the right to modify the provisions as needed and in accordance with government directives. In view thereof, the Board resolves, as it is hereby resolved, to recommend the following strict health protocols, for examinees and examination personnel, reinforcing the established safety measures in the conduct of all licensure examinations. All examinees and examination personnel shall enforce the following precautionary measures among themselves. Observe physical distancing of 2 meters between examinees. Examinees shall be restricted to their assigned seat. Wear face mask. At least three ply surgical mask. Preferably N95 mask. And wear face shield at all times. Ring 70% ethyl alcohol. For hand disinfection. Wear latex gloves for exam personnel. For handling the test questionnaires. Examinees shall submit the duly accomplished informed consent or an XA. And health data. Ventilation during breaks. 
examinees shall bring their own pens, pencils, and erasers. Borrowing from seatmate is not allowed to prevent cross-contamination. Talking and loitering are prohibited in the hallways or in the examination room. Per Memorandum No. 68 Series of 2020, entitled, Updated Guidelines on the Strict Health Protocols to be Observed in the Conduct of Licensure Exams During the COVID-19 Pandemic, Examinees and examination personnel shall undergo the mandatory reverse transcription polymerase chain reaction or RT-PCR test from any of the Department of Health or DOH accredited facilities three to five days before the examination date. Only those examinees with negative results shall be allowed to take the examination. However, if an examinee or examination personnel does not have or does not want to take RT-PCR test. He or she may undergo a 14-day quarantine period wherein he or she is asymptomatic for at least 14 days prior to the scheduled examination date provided that he or she has no close contact or exposure to the positive cases. He or she shall be allowed to take or assist the examination in the absence of RT-PCR test. A certificate of quarantine, or its equivalent, signed by any of the following shall be submitted, instead. Any, licensed physician, government or private physician. Municipal health officer. Provincial health officer. Or city health officer. Barangay. Officer, visiting the examinee residence attesting that he or she has been in quarantine for 14 days. Minimum health standards at the entrance gate of the testing venue. Foot bath with 10% chlorine solution shall be available at the entrance gate. Physical distancing shall be strictly observed in the queuing of the examinees entering the testing venues. All examinees and examination personnel shall undergo temperature scanning. Only examinees with temperature of less than or equal to 37.5 degrees Celsius shall be allowed to enter the testing venue. Examinee with temperature of more than 37.5 degrees Celsius shall be referred to the building supervisor, who shall refer the concerned examinee to an on-site medical doctor for assessment. Examinee will not be allowed to take the rest of the examination. 70% isopropyl or ethyl alcohol shall be available at the entrance gate for hand disinfection. Hand soap or 70% isopropyl or ethyl alcohol shall be provided also in all comfort rooms. Examinees shall proceed immediately to their designated examination rooms after the thermal scanning or screening. Hopefully you got some value out of this. If you did, please let us know in the comment section below. Thanks as always for watching our video. There will always be next blessings to come in the next one. God bless you.